Okay, guys, so Jaleel may have accidentally sparked some pregnancy rumors. So on Instagram, she posted this post that stated, tonight we get drunk. Now underneath it, Jaleel commented, damn, I want to get drunk. Then she says, hope everybody have a horrible hangover in the morning. So then everyone started assuming, why can't you drink? Are you pregnant? So then Jalea had to quickly respond to these pregnancy rumors and say, B word, don't start the pregnancy rumors. MJ lost my ID, so I can't get liquor. So Jalea quickly cleared up that rumor. She was like, look, you guys are not about to put a third pregnancy on me. Anyways, let's get on to the next topic with Kiana J and her boyfriend, KJ. So let me explain exactly what happened yesterday because I'm seeing a lot of comments underneath my video stating that they did not break up. What happened last night, Kiana J and her boyfriend got into some type of argument. They were posting things about each other back and forth on Instagram, and they even unfollowed each other on Instagram. You see the screenshot here that they were not following each other when I took this screenshot. Now, this morning when they seen that I posted the video about them breaking up, they went back and they followed each other again. And the post that they posted on their stories on Instagram was deleted so it looks like that they didn't post it but I had screenshots of it so then Kiana kind of had to respond to those things that were posted on Instagram so let me just read exactly what Kiana had to say because she was going off on Twitter so she starts by saying now my n-word goes back to his family this little t-page on YouTube be cracking us up y'all hell got this man stressed out he don't do social media ish leave my man alone we good this way y'all assumptions be all the way wrong okay so then she goes and explains the part about her calling Dallas boring now if you don't know what I'm speaking on you have to go watch my last video so you can see the post that she put up but anyways she said I said if you born you're not gonna last with me whole time I'm thinking about how me and my n-word always enjoying ourselves and I dealt with boring mfers in the past see how y'all should mind y'all business so guys last night she had a post that says like Dallas is boring and if you're boring you're not gonna last with me things like that she's moving out of Texas so this is her explanation to it she's saying that she was talking about people that she dated in the past that were born so then I just asked her can you explain the unfollowing each other as well and she says y'all be so invested in my life it's honestly creepy like I'm worried about y'all for real then someone asks her love you but does he have two or three kids and she says he has three and what's the issue we finna be in our mid-20s and y'all worried about an MF for kids then she says y'all worried about how many kids my n-word got how many baby daddies does your mama got or how many abortions did y'all have since we keep in count of ish that's none of y'all business so i asked her again okay so you still didn't address the unfollowing each other part so she says oh i unfollowed him because we was drunk right and last night he wanted to go to waffle house but i wanted to get eight instead so his stubborn capricorn ass went and got food first and me being the problematic girl i am i got an attitude and unfollowed him lol and then she says and to put mfr's family bmbd in a youtube video is beyond disrespectful now she's speaking on the clip that i added in the last video that he was with his baby's mother when that video is still on youtube like I'm thinking if he didn't want it there, he would have deleted it. And his YouTube channel is named KJ the D-Boy, which is the same name that he has on Instagram. So it's really not hard to find his YouTube page. Anyways, I'm not going to read the rest of the tweets that she wrote, but you guys can read them here. But I do want to read the comment that she left under the last video that I posted. Now she says, the way y'all assume ish is sad. Me and my bae sitting here watching the video together, laughing. Y'all be wrong every single time. And y'all be so mad in the comments because y'all never figure out my life. And I never cared to clear ish up. Anyways, we good over here. Now, someone else coming underneath that post. Now, I'm going to read exactly what she said. Now, of course, this is all allegedly this girl just wrote underneath the post that Kiana made 
on the video later kiana did delete that post so you can't go back and see it but anyways the girl said no ma'am kiana i went to high school with the bm and ma'am they definitely be running back to each other stop trying to act like you ain't do ish like it's really the dude's fault but don't cap like he don't pretend to be with his bm y'all can laugh at the post together but him and his bm will be always getting the last laugh then she says and she don't let up either boo they got three kids best believe they really laughing at you again i cannot confirm if what she is stating is true or not i'm just letting you guys see what this girl posted about the whole situation now kiana's new boo posted on instagram as well and he says all y'all need to know is i'll be single before i go backwards you T pages are dumb. So he's saying there that he will never go back to his baby's mother, that he'll be single before he do that. But now the post that he made yesterday about if you find a girl that stay down and all that, then keep her made it seem like he was speaking on his baby mama. I don't know. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section but below. But let's get on to this last topic with Joel, Lauren, and his new baby mama, Asia. Now, if you guys have been keeping up, then you know that Asia is pregnant. She's even been posting photos and videos of her stomach. And it looks like she is very far along, even though she's stating that she's only six weeks. And she also already changed the profile in her Instagram to mother of two. Now, she did go live on Instagram to answer some questions about the pregnancy. I'm going to post exactly what she stated here. I'm not going to post the whole live because some stuff was repetitive, but I am going to post some key clips. Let me know what you guys think down in the oh, comment you're section you're below. Dizzy, you're slow. They're so perfect. Let them tell you something. When God does that, when he tell me that personally, I will listen to what you have to say. Other than that, you could shut up. Respectfully. Uh, like, all y'all, the, the death threats is what's really getting me. Go kill yourself. I hope the baby dies. All, all that, that's, that's just plain out not cool. I wouldn't do that to nobody, even if it was me on the other hand. I would not wish death on nobody's child. I would not wish death on nobody. That's just that. So, therefore, anything else y'all have to say, I have my receipts. I know my reasons and I know what I'm doing. So, all the Asia, this Asia, that she's a side chick, she's just young and dumb. No. Had to go from childhood straight to adulthood, so I'm pretty much not dumb. And I'm not going to let a group of people, a group of females that don't even know half what's going on or don't even know me tell me what I am and what I need to be doing. I made my mistakes. I'm going to take care of my responsibilities and nobody's going to make me think different. And that's just that. My lips are nice, thanks but all all that what else it's like so much i need to address ma ma what is it i already already addressed that what's what i'm trying to make sure i address everything because after this live anything else y'all females have to say if y'all just don't like me don't watch my page don't do it that's what i'm saying y'all still gonna watch me so it's like yeah like y'all keep telling me he has a family okay and i wish him and his beautiful family the best i have a family too so therefore what are you trying to say <laughs> what are you trying to say don't you need to know your family being abused i don't know how mentally abused of course Because I'm explaining myself, like I said, this is my page. If y'all don't like what I do, get off my live. Stay off my page. Yeah, like, y'all feel like y'all have to explain what I do and whatever is going on for me. No, I can speak, love. I can speak. I can speak. I, is, I speak words very clear. I might sound a little country, but I could speak. Like, I'm going to, like, if y'all if y'all want to hear it, 
where like there's no more me and him there's no more of that like if not have to worry about that it's done for like all the like i said the death threats i already know for a fact like those are not gonna stop because it's just people that like trolling ain't nobody gonna fuck with her ain't nobody gonna fuck with her and i said that and she over here for her family that she got like i'm not no down broken female it hurts but i can move on i have stuff i have to do like i said i am a mom i'm a mom I make mistakes there's not one person on this live out of all of y'all can't tell me y'all never made a mistake in your life if there's one person on this live that can tell me i've never made a mistake i'll wait i'll wait i'll wait i'm gonna wait for who can tell me oh i'm perfect i've never made a mistake so i have time to judge asia comment Comment so you can tell me what I'm really doing wrong. But tell them, stay, tell them, stay. stay tuned. Stay tuned. There's more to come. I'm not going to stop my life for y'all just because I made right, one mistake. Cake. It's just the icing on the cake. We ain't cut into it yet. But like I said, because we all mis that's what I'm saying. It's so many. I make mistakes, y'all. I'm young. Like, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just just wonder why I went back. Y'all really wanna know why I went back? <laughs> we were gonna leave each other alone. There was is I was gonna leave. He I was gonna leave him alone. The baby told him about the baby. I didn't officially go back. There was never a settle of saying, "Oh, we're gonna be back together." None of that. It was really just off of a friend friend relationship for the baby. And with that being said, just like how I could take care of my first child, I will do my second. Is that a problem, too? Because it seems like, yeah, like sometimes like you can't help who you love. Like you can't, you can't do that. None of y'all females can't tell me y'all have never been like this. Y'all, y'all can't never tell me like there's no female on this earth that's all been heartbroken or something. There's no female on this earth that can say. No, dude, hurt my heart. I don't know none of that. No, there's no female like that. Yes, I had a miscarriage. Like, y'all so tuned into my life, y'all missing some information here. No. The time he had communicated with me, he'll say they broke up because she said she didn't want to be with him. That's what he says all the time. She said she didn't want to be with me, so I just left. She said she didn't want to be with me. That is why. I should be happy. I'm telling him this all the time. I'm not forcing that man to mess with me. Like, what? Who else would I be pregnant by? Come on now. Ben answered that question. That question, Ben answered, love. She made that making me. When I was with him, both of them were both saying divorce papers were settled. Next. That's the thing. I don't want the bag. I don't want nothing from him. Just want him to be happy. Just want to be happy. That chapter is over. Yeah. Like. I like my nose piercing. 